As Christmas looms, so does the prospect of a third wave. With tier changes imminent this week, NHS bosses have urged extreme caution. What they're saying to the Prime Minister is, please do not downgrade people into, into areas into lower tiers. Secondly, as soon as an area looks like it needs to, has to go into tier three, please put them in there straight away. And then the third thing we're saying is, look, we need a much better debate about the risks of what's going to happen over Christmas. In a letter to the Prime Minister, NHS leaders say the significant extra risk involved with mixing at Christmas is being ignored. And at a time when the health service will be busiest, there are 10,000 fewer beds available than at the same time last year. One's only got to look at what's happened in the United States around the Thanksgiving holiday where cases have surged. Uh, Tony Fauci, the American um, chief scientist uh, advising on COVID, has warned that Christmas could be even worse than Thanksgiving in terms of people moving around. Uh, this is an infection that will accelerate very rapidly if the brakes are taken off. It's as simple as that. As the government says it won't hesitate to take necessary action to protect communities, more rapid test sites are opening up to track asymptomatic cases. If you want to have that five-day window, you've got to be really careful between now and then and thereafter. That's why we've got the tiered approach, buttressed by mass community testing, which if you look in, say, Liverpool, mm -hmm. you've got the, 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 posit the, 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 test the, the, um, the rate of uh, coronavirus down by, I think it was around two-thirds, three-quarters in fairly short order. So we've got the tools, and that does allow us just to take a little time with our loved ones uh, over Christmas. <laughs> In Germany, a national lockdown's just been announced over Christmas. There'll now only be three days of minor reprieve for households. Chancellor Angela Merkel blamed Christmas shopping for a rise in cases. Action is needed because the measures that we implemented on November the 2nd were not sufficient. We were able to stop the exponential growth in infections for a while and achieve a stabilisation. But for some days now we have been seeing increasing case numbers and exponential growth again. This means that we have suffered many deaths. You are all following the statistics. And we know that the health system is already under a lot of pressure. There are no calls to change the planned UK Christmas rules, but rising infections and hospital admissions don't bode well for a Christmas without high risk. Adele Robinson, Sky News.